Hey y'all, today we are back doing the pre-made rooms challenge. I'm gonna go onto the gallery, find a bunch of pre-made rooms, put them down, try to jigsaw puzzle them into a house, and then make it functional. We're gonna try. But before we get started, I would like to thank Disney Magic Kingdoms for sponsoring today's video. You can download the game for free right now using the link in my description. Disney Magic Kingdoms is a world building game based in Disney's Magic Kingdom, like the parks. You follow different character storylines, unlock new characters, and unlock and purchase new buildings that you can place all throughout your park. So this is actually my park. Here's the castle, and over here is where I have placed everything. I've got a storyline going on with Bo Peep and Woody right now. And then whenever you complete a quest, you give them a high five. So like I said, you can kind of move things exactly where you want them to be. So I've got like a little food section over here with little waffles. With the houses over here, we have Mickey and Goofy's house. We have Al's toy barn, which is really funny. So you can collect and level up characters as you progress through the storylines. They have a lot of characters, like so, so many. Also here, you can see some of the buildings that you can get. They have Slinky Dog Bash, which is actually a ride at the Disney parks and it's super fun. And then you can place them down wherever you want and you unlock different areas of the park. So there's so, so, so much I haven't unlocked. I got all sorts of quests going on. I got a lot of people. Disney Magic Kingdoms is also doing a giveaway for the 12 days leading up to Christmas. I will have a link in the description if you would like to enter. The prizes include Olaf, which is a premium character in the game, a one year Disney Plus subscription, and Disney's Munchling plushies. And lots of other really cool prizes too. You can see on the box all of the different ones that you could collect. <gasps> They're scented! Oh wait, he's upside down. It's Pluto. He's a peanut butter chocolate swirl. The next one is... <gasps> oh! I got Mickey Mouse! And last but not least, we have... <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Marie. Oh my god, she's so cute. So like I said, the link to the game is in the description as well as the link to enter the giveaway if you're interested. Huge, huge thank you to Disney Magic Kingdoms for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back to it. Okay, first things first, we gotta go to the gallery. We are going to be looking at rooms specifically. Let's start with an entryway. I'm gonna type in entryway and hope this works. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, this is nice, it's like a hallway. Okay, okay. Oh, this is so cute. It's really small, but it is so cute. It doesn't have walls all the way around it, but I might just put walls all the way around it. Definite KY, we will add this in. All right, let's put it, what way do I want it to face? This might be kind of cool. What if I, Let's put it like a little off center, maybe there. And then what I'll do is you'll walk in and see this and then left and right can take you to different parts of the house. And then something can just butt up to the back of this. I think that's good. I am just gonna copy and paste your wallpaper around and I am gonna have to add a door. And obviously I'm gonna have to do the outside of the house, the roof, the wallpaper, landscaping, etc. So let's just put a door in here just so I know where it starts. Perfect size, beautiful. I don't know what color this is gonna end up being, but we'll just change it to something. Okay, entryway, good. That's so cute. I love all this stuff on the walls. Okay, great. Perfect. Next. Next, I think maybe I can do like a living room. We can try to find out where that's gonna go. Okay, so this one's pretty small. I feel like we could do it a little bit big. Not huge. Oh, Christmas living room. Hold on, I gotta click. Wow. That looks a little too big though, but it is so beautiful. Ooh, green living room. This is cool, a lot of clutter. Balloon and potato. I will be taking this, thank you. Okay, so there is a door on this one. So I'm gonna try to <laughs> It doesn't exactly work. I think it's gonna remove my door. Okay, I'll remove this door. I think I'm just gonna put an archway actually. Ooh, there's doors here. Okay, maybe instead of doors, I can put windows. That'll work. Let's put my door back. <laughs> and right here, I'm going to put an arch. It's gonna have to be a small arch. It is kind of funny, but if I can match this to the color of the door, then like it might work. I don't know what the color of the door is gonna be though, so whatever. But here's the living room. This is so cute. I love how cluttered this is. TV's up there. We got a little tablet here. There's even a little desk with a computer and they're using a lot of objects from the new stuff packs as well, which is really cool. I love it. I just love that it looks so lived in. And there's a door, which is nice, which I might also change to an arch, but undecided. We might also need to like put in a hallway here at some point. We'll figure that out when we get there. <laughs> so next let's do a kitchen. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. It looks like it's gonna be really big though. 
I just love that it's pink. I really, really do. I think I'm gonna add in a separate dining room so it can't be too, too big because we do need room for a dining room. This looks kind of cute from uh, Kate2222. Let's try it. Where am I gonna put it? Hold on, let me look. Is there a door? Okay, there is an arch here. So I might be able to like butt this up to this and just remove the door and then remove this arch and then copy this arch. Gonna have to do some skinny arches. And that actually works perfectly. This is really cute. Again, loving the pinks. We've got definitely a very different vibe from these two rooms, but I think it's really fun. Okay, so now, I mean, I guess there technically is like a dining space in here. So you really don't need it. We can kind of have it go this way. I might put a bath. Oh, I don't know. How am I gonna connect this? We have windows here. You know what I might do? I might give it the old rotate and switch. But if I do that, I have to kind of do this which is a little weird, but then I can move the arch here. If I move it one over, it works a little bit better and I can just move this plant to this corner. Slightly modified, not too bad. And then the windows can stay. Okay, I'm liking that. And then we probably can squeeze in a bathroom here. You're just gonna have to like go around <laughs> to get to it, which is just a little inconvenient, but I don't wanna like mess up anything in this room. So cute. How's our shape looking so far? This one doesn't even have a roof. <laughs> Give yourself a roof. There we go. All right, back to the gallery. Let's find ourselves a nice bathroom. Here, I think I'm gonna do something small. Oh, maybe I should have typed in powder room. Some people call it a powder room. Okay, it looks like not a lot of people call it a powder room. That might just be me. However, that's fancy. What the heck is this username? <laughs> Are you a robot? I'll put it down. It might, <gasps> is this gonna fit perfectly in this? It fits perfectly. The problem is the door goes here, but I kind of want it to go around. So let me see if I can even do that. Let me remove the door. Let's just put this in this perfect slot. I think this was meant for taller wall heights. Yeah, it definitely was. What the heck is this? I think this maybe belonged uh, somewhere else, but I don't know where. I think I might've messed that up by doing that. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, so can I get a door? If I put a door on this side, I don't know. I mean, ooh, I don't know if you can fit in there. I may have to remove this, which is unfortunate because it's really cute. Okay, if I modify a few things, I can add in some taller arches. I don't remember if this plant was here. I think it probably was. I'm gonna move it over there though. Just gotta slightly adjust some things here. Also, I will be changing the color of these arches, maybe just to white for now. And then I'm gonna have to add in my own walls here. This is like a hallway. So now I think I will add, this is gonna be super weird. It's gonna be like you have to walk through a hallway to get to everything. Although I may be able to add in another arch on this side, no problem. So whatever's over here can then get into the kitchen. But if you wanna get to the bathroom, you literally have to go like all the way around, which is kind of inconvenient, but whatever. Okay, let's look for a bedroom. <gasps> Whoa, I love that cozy game girl bedroom. No wonder I was just so attracted to it immediately. It's so beautiful. I have to put this down. Little red writing sim. Thank you. Oh, that's a big room. Wait, does it fit perfectly? Shut your mouth. Like a glove. It fits so well. Okay, we're gonna have to rearrange some stuff. No window, no door on this side. Uh, window's fine there, but right here is actually where the door needs to be. I'm gonna have to remove some things. There's no just like normal door for medium wall height. They all have glass on them or just like too crazy. I need just like seven you know. Anyways, this is my go-to door. There we go. Those doors are very close together, but whatever. Okay, so that's gonna create a very interesting shape for me. Oh, I don't think we want a skylight in the bathroom. Perfect. That's gonna be hard to roof. It really, really is. It really, really is. Okay, so then we have this side, which we can add maybe another bedroom, maybe another bathroom as well. Let's do another bedroom. Maybe we can do like, I'd say we could do a kid's room, but I the one I just put down, kind of a kid's room. Okay, this is really cute. An artsy bedroom. It looks like it's a little bit smaller. I could put it here and then bring this out into a hallway again. <laughs> the door is on the wrong side. Again, we could flip it. We just do that, whatever. And then maybe we could add in another bathroom. This house is like leaning very much to the left side here. We could also do an office. Maybe let's do an office and then we'll add in a bathroom. Okay, these look pretty cool. Oh, this is cool. Modern vintage. A little bit of both, a little bit of both. This is also really cool. Three by three. That thing's really tiny. I think we can do a little bit bigger than that. We've got some room to fill up. So I think this is pretty cool. I like the corner couch and everything. Sim builds by K. Okay, good. This is a good size. My only thing is... I don't want the arch to go into the office. Okay, hold on. Let's put that over there. I might have to make like a small hallway. I think I might still try to squeeze in a bathroom right there. Maybe. I may need to like just scoot that over. Let me see if I can find a bathroom to put in there real quick. 
this is really cool. How big do you think this is? Bubble Christmas? Oh, uh, wait, let's see. Will it fit? I want to put it down anyways. Oh my God, it's so cool. Well, obviously, I have to remove the window looking into the bathroom. Nobody wants that, but wow, that's so cool. Unfortunately, it's just slightly too big. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find a bathroom that will fit. It's kind of an awkward space, but I am determined. This one literally says cozy bathroom. Did I do? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I don't know where the door is. And also, as much as I love this object, it's got to go. Okay, so the door is here. So we may need to rotate this. Yeah, the window, she had to go. Okay, wait, this works, I think. Okay, I am also gonna change these doors to match the other ones that I have. Ooh, I like the custom paintings, that's really cool. Oh, these are so cool, I love the custom paintings, that's so fun. So now that we have that going on, I might be able to squeeze in this office somewhere, but I'm gonna have to be pretty sneaky about it. Oh, it's up on a platform, we're gonna have to put that down. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, this thing's missing some walls. I'm wondering if I just like put it over there, add a door to it. I'll fix these walls. Might need to add some stuff to these walls. I'm just gonna add some random things. And then maybe that's just another hallway. I guess I could have gotten a bigger bathroom though now that I think about it. What if I just like stretched it out? <laughs> I mean, that does work. Okay, I think this might be good. This is a little bit awkward, but this just kind of like sticking out from the side. This is gonna be so painful to try to put a roof on. Look at the shape of this. <laughs> There's curtains on the outside. Okay. God, should I add anything else? Mm, you know what I might do? I may just rotate this, stick it back where it was, and then just move the door placement over here. And then it's not sticking out quite as far. It still is, but not as bad. I'll just grab some paintings and like throw them on the wall just to fill in the space. Okay. I think I may have deleted the light from that room. So I will put it back in. I also need to light up these hallways and put some flooring and wallpaper in these. I'm just gonna copy this same flooring. Although in here I might copy this flooring just to try to make it look a little more seamless. This is a very weird house. But that's what you get when you do these challenges. They're always kind of weird. Okay, so as for wallpaper that continues, um, it may just be a little random. I might just throw in my favorite color. Boom. Love that color. I am just not looking forward to having to put the roof on this. It's gonna be so hard. Let's give it a go. the same person I was before I tried to put a roof on this house. She's gone. I'm never gonna see her again. This is what I did. Yeah, it could be worse. I tried a couple different options. <laughs> I love that we've got a little castle, uh, a little tower on the side here. Oh, don't, don't do that. I did think it was kind of funny, so I left it there. Not super practical. If I wanted to make it practical, I would simply just put one of these roofs on there very easily, just like pop one of them. Actually, that looks so much better. Shoot, maybe I will do that. That does look better. <laughs> I was thinking about adding dormers or something. I don't know. Like, nothing's gonna make this look good. I could maybe add a chimney? I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird looking. I could put a fake chimney on there. Well, it's got a real chimney inside, so it'll actually blow smoke out, which is kind of cool. But that doesn't change the fact that the front still looks super weird. I don't know how, I don't know if it's fixable. I don't know if it can be saved. <laughs> you know what? Wait, no, no, I think it can be saved. I just got a brilliant idea. I'm not saying that saved it, but I'm saying it did make it look a little less weird. It's a little less weird. Okay, well now I have to get some wallpaper and just a few windows. Obviously there are some windows kind of scattered around from some of the rooms. <laughs> They're not gonna be matching, I'll tell you that. So don't get your hopes up. I don't have my hopes very high for redeeming the outside of this house and what it looks like. Um, I don't know how to fix this. I really don't know. Usually I like to add like some alternating wallpapers on like little pop outs like this. You know what maybe I'll do? Give it a little flair. I'll add some columns. Did that help at all? Not really. Well, let's try to add some windows. Maybe that'll help. Here we can do like a little round window. I love doing that. One of these. I also still don't know what color scheme I'm going for here. Should I maybe like change these up a little bit? Of course, none of the browns match. Classic Sims. Like not a single one. Okay, I found the matching one for the fence. As for the door, I think that's the closest I'm gonna get and that's fine. All right, so for windows, something like this could work. I could do like these really tall windows. I like those. And then we could use my favorite object to spruce it up. You think I could like put them here? Cute. <laughs> that might've saved the whole house. Oh, I just realized that the floors don't have wood on them. Okay. Now I could definitely leave the windows just white. I think they look pretty good. Maybe I'll leave this white too, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, so wherever I can squeeze 
in some windows in this house, I'll put these windows in. Those actually look great where they are. And then these already have their own windows. This room doesn't have any, oh, it does have windows. It does have windows. They're back here. I am gonna raise them up slightly. Okay, I know that looks crazy from the outside because we've got these windows from the inside. Kind of cute. I mean, it's a little bit weird with it being above the bed, but like it kind of works. Okay, so then this hallway desperately needs some windows as well. Perfect. This one's got its own window situation. This has got its own window situation. And so does this. The windows would definitely look better on the outside if they were on this wall, but that's just not gonna work for how the room is situated. So I'm not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna pretend that that doesn't exist back there. Now for my favorite trick in the book. I'm putting a fence down. Lately, this has been my go-to trick for making a house look complete. I have no idea why it gives me that feeling, but it does. How much cuter does that look all of a sudden? Like it just look, how does that happen? I don't know what color to make it. I might do the darker fence. Typically I like the lighter one, but for this house, actually, shoot, I don't know. No, maybe I'll leave it lighter. I like the light. Okay, if I can try to squeeze in some trees, I definitely, definitely will. Maybe if I like size these down, I can put them right here. <laughs> That's weird. It's weird, but I don't think this house could get any weirder. So I think it's fine. A lot of interesting landscaping going on in here. Turn on my fun shadows. Let's put these down. This also I feel like is a bit of a saving grace. Having a bit of these on the ground, I feel like just makes it look so good. I like that. Now I just need to put down a little pathway. I can do it with terrain paints or I can do it with flooring, probably terrain paint. I rarely use this one, but that is giving the right energy. Put some dirt underneath these little plants. And honestly, I think that is the absolute best that I can do for this house. I don't think it can get any better than this. So <laughs> let's take a little trip in there, shall we? Here we we are in the game. I'm gonna waltz right in as if I was a sim. La 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 la, walking in, hit with this very, oh, where's my arch? Just when I thought I was done. Where did my arch go? Where did it go? Sheesh. Okay, let's try that again. Walk in, boom, you're hit with double arch. It looks so pretty on this side. I didn't do anything to the hallways cause well, I just couldn't be bothered. Wow, wow, wow. This is a really beautiful room. I just love how cluttered it is. It looks so lived in. I just love it. I just, whoa, this is true. Oh my gosh, there's my other arch. You're kidding. <laughs> it overlapped the other one. That is so funny. Anyways, this looks like you're looking into a portal to another dimension, so that's fun. Okay, and then you go into the kitchen, which is so pretty. Love the pinks. Very calming in here. I love it. Okay, then we have my very empty hallway, but if you go to the left, boom, you hit with a nice office. I love this section. I think that's so cute. Oh, I'm feeling like something, ah, I keep finding surprises around every corner. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that glitched, obviously. Sorry, sorry. And on the right side, we have the bathroom. Cute, cute, cute. I love custom art is so cool. There's a way to do custom art and it doesn't count as CC. Pretty cool. You can literally just type in art on the gallery and find like a bunch of like non CC. CC art, especially if you're uh, playing on console. Very cute. Okay, and then we go around here. Don't look at the empty hallway. And we have this very, very, very cool bedroom. Again, with custom art and this really cool like, little desk area, the bookshelf separating the bed. This is just such a clever, like it's small, but like so cute and cozy. Like this is such a cute bedroom. I love it. You get the nice view of the backyard. Cute. Then if you were to go the other way in the entryway, you go through the ugly hallway and there is this very luxurious bathroom. It is so gorgeous with all the portraits on the wall, the fancy toilet, fancy flooring, fancy everything. It's beautiful in here. And then you go into this. Oh, that took my breath away. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Whoa, this bedroom. I didn't actually really take a minute to admire this bedroom, but it is amazing. Look at this, you've got like a place to watch TV, play video games, a place to do your makeup and your hair, a little desk. Like, why would you ever need to leave this beautiful room? And the lighting is so nice, it's all purpley. I love it in here. <laughs> I want this room. So that is the house. It is a bit hard to navigate for sure, but we've got a lot of personality in this house. A lot of different personalities, might I add. Yeah, so the outside, like I said, could be better. The, I can't even look at the mismatching windows and stuff. It would drive me crazy. But if you were to look at it from this angle, it does look much more unassuming. It looks innocent. It couldn't hurt anyone from this angle. Just don't look too close. 
All right, well, that is where I'm going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you again to Disney Magic Kingdoms for sponsoring today's video. Again, you can find a link for it in the description below, along with a link to enter the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.